Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can change the response body with Jackson Library's JSON view option. Again, we have this repository here and we will start from the main and the final implementation is right here in this JSON view branch. So let's clone this one and running git clone here. Opening the Visual Studio code in this folder. Now let's check the project structure. Here we have this POM XML, and here we are running the Spring Boot version 2.3.4, and we have the dependencies of Spring Data JPA, Web, and we have this H2 database. And also we have this developer tools and also the Lombok. And let's check the source. Here we have this user package. We have this user entity. It has these fields, ID, username, email, and password. And we have this controller. We have this get mapping for this endpoint. And as a result, we are returning list of users. And uh, this result is coming from this user service, list users method, and it is directly getting the users from this user repository, which is basically a JPA repository for this user object. And in response model, the main class, we have this command line runner. And when the application is initialized, we are creating 30 users and inserting them to database. So let's start this application. And here the application is initialized. Now opening the postman for sending the REST request for this endpoint, we are calling this get users. And here we are receiving the users back. There are 30 users in the application and we receive all of them. And as you can see, we receive their ID, username, email, and password. All of the fields of that user is sent to us in the response. But in the real application, we wouldn't want the password to be exposed in the responses, or maybe we don't want the ID to be visible also. So let's implement a solution for hiding these fields in the response body. In this tutorial, we are going to use the Jackson library's functionality and the functionality we are going to use is JSON view. So all we will do is in our project, let's create an interface right here. I'm just creating it under the user package. I'm just calling it as view Java and this is going to be basically an interface and in this interface we will have the types let's create another class let's say it is base these are just for defining the types we are not going to add any fields for these classes now we are going to use this base class in user object and let's say we want only this username and email to be visible in the responses so what we will do here is we will use json view annotation and we will pass our class the base class to this one so we get the base class from view and we have this base and we just provide the class and we do the same thing for email. And we need one more thing to do, and that is using the same approach, this JSON view in user controller right here. For this method, for this get mapping, if we are returning this user object, we want this user to be containing only the fields annotated with this JSON view and specifically for this class, view base class. So we will see the user object will only have these values in the response. Now let's try this one, saving all these changes. 
and the application is restarted now and going back to postman once again and sending request and here we are receiving only the username and email for each of these users basically the json view is like this all we do is add a type definition we just define an empty class uh, and we use those class types in the fields we want to be visible and here we can also um, extend this capability by inheritance let's say we will have another view type let's call it as admin and this admin can be extending this base class and for instance we can go user object and add let's say for this id field json view and we can say view admin class so let's say if a request is sent from admin user and if we are going to provide a response for that admin user maybe more than username and email we would also be providing the user id back so with this approach we are marking this id field to be visible in admin view since admin is extending the base we will be also seeing the base fields in the response so on top of base fields if we return the response in admin view we will also see the id so let's change our user controller and instead of returning this base class let's say we want to return the admin view once again saving all these changes and going back to postman sending the request and here we see the id username and email are in the response so basically json view is like this and it is one of the option to change the content of the json in the response in the next tutorials we are going to see the alternatives thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials